I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm trying this on my phone. Well, uh, hey guys. Another episode of Taco Imposters. I'm trying this on my phone. I don't know how. That's crooked. I know that. Wait, can I say straight? Maybe if I do like turn it down a little. That's a little straighter. I don't know that there. That's kind of straight-ish. I don't know how good this is, but yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, I'm trying to put my phone with a different setup now. Not far enough behind. Can I go back a little bit more? I don't know. Let me see if I can just the chair back. Oh, there you go. It's a little bit better. Um, yes, so. Next up, Taco Imposters. Yeah, we're back here. I, um, find something to talk about. Let's go find this place. Because the last video I put, well, actually, the video, <laughs> that video is going up tomorrow about something else. Sorry. <laughs> but, because I never thought I'd turn into those YouTubers who have videos that are that are set to be put up. Oh, that video. Well, which video came out first? Uh, can I say, you know, I hate those kind of people. Or the, no, 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 no. no okay, at least those people are like, okay, well, this video is coming out tomorrow. Sorry, I can't talk about it. Whatever. The ones I hate. I mean, I completely hate are the ones where it's like, wait, where they just confuse you with, wait, are you here? Are you there? Like, no. Okay, the thing that I don't like also was, I was like about a year ago. Maybe about a year ago? I don't know, maybe like a year and a half ago. I don't remember exactly. But, um, we, sorry. I'm just watching the time there in the, in the mirror here because I can't see how much time. And apparently this only records 10 minutes. Like, my phone. I don't know why, but... Yeah, so... Um, anyway. It was about, yeah, on Instagram. So it was about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. On Instagram. Somebody was supposed to be somewhere, okay? In the world. They stated this, whatever. Right? They stated this, whatever, right? And then I would see posts of them somewhere else, and I'd be like... Or, like, here, and I'd be like, wait. Aren't you supposed to be there? But then I realized, well, you can post things about other things in the past. Here. It's like, so wait, are you here or are you there? And it got me confused for a second. I was like, I'm like, but so, so you're not here. Okay, okay. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, because YouTubers who do the whole thing of just confusing videos where it's like, wait, which video came first? Wait, what? It's just confusing in my opinion. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. That's what I hate about that. I just hate when YouTubers do that. Sorry. I was watching, just watching Mike Matei play uh, Rogue Squadron, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I love that game. It's actually right... Oh, no, it's not. It's over there. <laughs> it's on my shelf. I have the game. Well, I lost... Okay, I had a gate copy as a kid, and then I lost it. I'm not sure if my mother got rid of them. You know? You know how your mother gets rid of stuff? Comic books, uh, movies, whatever. I know my mom got rid of a lot of my VHS tapes, because we were just like, I'm done. And at the time, I think I was, like, okay with it at the time? I don't remember. Because now I'm like, how could I have said yes to that? How? Just how, you know? Anyway. So I'm not sure if I got rid of that game. Or I just lost it. Because I did find one of the games that I had as a kid. Because I had so many N64 games. Because, okay. My cousins gave me their N64 when they were done with it. It didn't have the power cable. It took me so long to find a power cable because I went to the mall. I went to the mall. No, sorry. First, I went to like... No, I think I did. I think I went to the mall here. And it was one uh, which is Car 4. I think I went to Car 4 Laval. And they were just... And uh, we went to one of those games. No! No, no, no. I went to some random shops on like the side of the road. I don't know what you call them. They're like... I guess they're kind of like pawn shops. I don't know how to... They're electronic stores that, you know, they'll sell gold and... Silver and jewelry and, and like, uh, power tools and electronics and, and video games, you know. And they didn't have any uh, of them. They're like, no. They had games. So I got a few of my games. But not... Oh, what's it called? Not the power cable. Not the power cable. This power cable here for the N64. Oh, man. If I can pull it up. Awkward position. Ow. What is this? What is this? Why is it like, oh, there you go. What is going on here? Right. Power cable. See this one? This thing? Right? 
you don't know what it looks like, this thing. And then I went to, like I went to a few of those and they're all just like, no, whatever. I don't know how we found out, or we try, wanted to try, uh, or we thought of trying uh, the place in the mall. I remember doing a lot of those because it's hard to explain because when you're in my house, there are a lot of these things. So my house, like this, and then if I go this, sorry, like, if I go this direction, so my window's this way, I'm pointing this, it's hard to explain. But there's like a strip of street, if you know, uh, what is it? What street would that be called? That would be... Oh crap, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, there's a lot of, there's a few of them. Of those kind of like electronic stores. And they all were just like, no, no, no. I think I stick to State of Laval. I might have gone to like, even Montreal. Like downtown maybe. Certain places downtown. Because there are a few of those downtown too. Or other parts of... Oh. Yeah, so, um... And then we went there. And there was like, it was like a game store. Like a board game. I remember the guy was sitting there... The guy that we talked to was sitting there uh, fiddling with, like, Warhammer toys, I think. Let's see. Like, Warhammer figures. And he, I think he was sitting there painting them, or he was... Or maybe not. That's what I remember. I remember... I'm not sure if this is accurate. Could, yeah, I was, like, oh, seven or eight. So, it's like, long ago in my life. Like, it felt so long ago. But anyway. Yeah, so... Um... Yeah. And so, he said, try a place called Blue Nose. And Blue Nose, I might have told this story before, this whole story before, but Blue Nose. And so Blue Nose is where we went. And Blue Nose is a shopping center, uh, shopping center, is a, how do you, it's like a pawn shop, but it's not a pawn shop. But that's how, like, that's the best way to describe it. Like a pawn shop, but it's not. Because that's It doesn't pawn anything. So, sorry about that. I'm just trying to look at the, the time so I know how much time I have. Anyway, it's like a, so it's like a pawn shop, but not a pawn shop. Anyway, it's like a second hand. Well, it started as being a coin and stamp shop because it's called Blue Nose because it was named after the Blue Nose coin, like on the 10 cents, you know, the Blue Nose, which secondly is Blue Nose 2, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I almost met a guy who worked. Or whose grandparents worked on the Blue Nose, I think. Or the Blue Nose 2. I don't remember exactly. Anyway. So there, and it had it. And 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 I go there. I've been going there ever since. Like, it's such a good store. Well, it's a good store in relation to stuff. Not in terms of, like, prices. Prices, forget it. The prices are the wor one of the worst. But again, but, but, but it's like a lot of things. Yeah, but it's the only place that has this. Or where else am I going to find this? Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's a little bit more expensive, like there's certain things I will never buy because it's like you're out of your mind, right? Like, okay, you want to know something? They sell N64s for ninety nine dollars. Like that's crazy, at least in my opinion. But they also sell, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, they sell. I might get that, that price wrong. Um, Super Smash Bros. for N64 for a hundred, about a hundred dollars, like that, ninety nine. But you can also, but but I saw the guy offer someone a hundred dollars for Smash for for N64 and Smash. I, I I might be getting that wrong, but it's around there. That's crazy though. So anyway, I think uh, Brawl is eighty dollars there. It's crazy example of stuff. Anyway. It's a, it's a great place though if you want a good if you want to go it's in the Point Claire Plaza on St. John and well is it sources? No, St. John. Well just look up Point Claire Plaza, Google Point Claire Plaza and you'll find out Blue Nose. Anyway. It's also Ted Sobby Shop in that place. It's a pretty good mall, to be honest with you. It's got, you know, grocery stores, candy shops, um what else? I don't know, knitting stores, uh, flower shops, uh, magazine, like, what do you call them? Oh, newsstands, I guess what they're called. So anyway, 
But yeah, back to what I was actually originally trying to talk about, which was Rogue Squadron, yeah. So I don't know if I lost that game or I got rid of it. Because I remember looking for, ye like, honestly, literally years. Like, every so often for, like, three years. About five years ago. Just a five or seven years ago. Just to, like, where did it go? Because I found um, Star Wars um, Shadows of the Empire. And I remember... Yeah, and I knew it was my game, like the same game, same copy. But first of all, it was in the same house. I'm like, I kind of made this assumption. It didn't randomly appear, right? But the other one was, uh, the other reason was because it had saved, like, save file from previous, from, in the, like, from years pr prior. So I was like, oh, that is my game. Which shows a, it was a testament to some of the, uh, Wait, oh, it's this. Is that, is that what it is or this? Oh, it's this. Okay. What? Whoa, that's... What? Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay. Then we'll do... We'll try something like this. Um, can I, can I get it? There you go. That works better. I'm getting out of the way. Um, yeah. So, it shows a testament to games and how some games, you'll have saved files for years. Other games, but that also might be because of the that game might have been saved on. If you don't know how N sixty four works, N sixty four was that weird transition where because look, so it's like so you could save some games, okay, in this on a, which is a memory pack, right? Other games you had to save on the game with through the game, kind of like how Zelda worked, you know, battery backups. Or, or like there were ramp, there were chips specifically for saving, like to keep not specifically, but like it, it dealt with saving, right? And then there were ones where were still password, which there weren't a lot of those, to be honest with you, but there were some, and it was the whole fact that there were still some. It's like why, 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 why? why? Anyway, so I'm not sure if that game is in this with on the memory memory pack or what's called the memory. I just said it. Yeah, memory card, on the memory card, or in the game. But yeah, so. Yeah, and, and so Rogue Squadron I bought again because I lost it. I had games like, I didn't lose a lot of games to be honest. I lost like four, three or four? I can only remember three. Well, and I found one of them, but I can only remember three, so. Which was uh, Shadow of the Empire. Star Wars Out of the Empire, Star, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, and and Army Men, Star Wars Heroes. Star, Army Men, Star Wars Heroes. I love... Oh, no, I had Star Wars Heroes 2, that's what it was. I think I had Star Wars Heroes 2, anyway. Because my brother keeps saying, no, we had two, because his best friend had one. And we'd borrow it from him sometimes. Anyway. Star Wars Rogue Squadron was a great game. They made some on uh, GameCube later. Which I played the first one on GameCube. I emulated it, but... Right, but yeah, I mean, yeah, so I played it the first one. It was okay, I didn't get far in it. I just because I, I saw it was one of those games where I didn't what's the word I'm looking for? It didn't not capture me, it didn't really keep me in like wanting to play. I don't know, something about it. But that's me with a lot of video games now. I jump from everything to everything, just like uh, scatter everywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I have ADD <laughs> or some form of like attention disorder. I have no attention span, or just have no attention span. I could just have no attention span too. Um, yeah. But Rogue Squadron was a great game, and I never got very far in that game. But I remember playing it as a kid, just loving it, because also it was like my okay. I was really into Star Wars, but I was really into Star Wars only because my brother was really into Star Wars. And it was like, like my brother was crazy into Star Wars at one point. He has, he was so into Star Wars. He went to Comic-Con one year, uh, 2011, I want to say 11, yes, 11, and Comic-Con 2011, and he has Jeremy Bullich, who, uh, 
who played Boba Fett. Uh, go on my Instagram and see. There's a picture way back of me and Jeremy Bullich. A tall guy. I'm really young. Tall guy with white hair. He signed two things for my brother. He signed a comic book that he had of, of Jango Fett as a kid. Which made no sense to me. Cause I remember at the time just being like, why are you getting him to sign this? This is Jango Fett, not Boba Fett. And my brother was just like, well, I don't have anything else close to Boba Fett that's like signable, really. Well, my, also my brother's best friend, the same best friend who had Rogue, uh, had, uh, I mean, and one came with us, and he got things signed too, but he got, okay, my brother got that signed, and I don't remember, I don't know if you remember the set, the Star Wars Lego, uh, what's that thing called? Oh, Janko, uh, Boba Fett's ship is called the, Boba Fett's ship's called, oh, uh, or Jango Fett's ship too, because it's the same ship, kind of, technically. What is Boba Fett's ship called? According to Wikipedia, Slave, Slave. Eye is the starship used by bounty hunter Boba Fett in the Empire Strikes yeah, yeah, Back yeah, by one. his father Jango yeah. Fett. Yes, okay, get Fett out! Clones. Slave One, yeah. The Slave One cockpit. So he brought the piece of just the cockpit, and Jeremy Bullock signed the cockpit of the Slave One. 2011 Slave One set? I think it was. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Like, 2011 maybe? Maybe it might have been 2010, but I think it was... No, sorry. 11. Lego. So, slave. Sorry. Whoopsie. One. Let me see what comes up. I think... I'm gonna have to set it in the zoom. I'm not gonna take it out. But... No! Phone the company. Anyway, so he slave one, he got that sign, so he was so into Star Wars at one point. But that's the thing. We were very uh addict I don't know if you call it addictive or like obsessive. There we go, and that's that's more straight, I think. Anyway. I don't know if you call it addictive or obsessive, but we, 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 whenever we got into something, we got into something. We were just like we were like crazy into it. we needed everything. So that whether it was everything from like Pokemon at one point, Star Wars, and then there was Harry Potter. And a lot of these like overlapped onto each other. Like I didn't just like Star Wars and then it was a big abrupt stop and now I like this thing. Kind of like meshed into each other because I remember liking Star Wars and liking Harry Potter. At the same time, like, crashing in. And I was a kid who's, like, just did whatever my brother did. I was, like, you know, like, that kid. Just did whatever my brother did. So, my brother liked something. I was, like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. And then I just got into it. And I remember Star Wars. Mm, was it Star Wars? Yes, because I remember loving Pokemon. And I remember loving... No, no, it must have been Harry Potter. Because I remember just, like, not caring crazy amount for Harry Potter. Like, not getting into it. Like, oh, I, I love it. I love it, like, like my brother, you know? I was like, oh, it's great, it's whatever. And then it's just like, oh. Right? I know a lot about it. I just remember not loving it, you know? Or, you know, I'm just being like, it's okay. Oh, 2011. This one! I think it was this. Was it this one? I think it was this set. Maybe. Let me see. Not the small one. That's the thing with this thing. There were a lot of different sets of this one. Well, a few different sets. Anyway. I think it was this one. Not the original one. I think it was this one. I might be wrong, but um, I think it was this one. Was that the same one? No. I think it was... Oh, no. It must have been that one. Yeah, I believe it was this one. I'm not sure. Wait, or is either that one or this one? Which looks the same, but where is it? Is that the same one? No, it's this one. Who's this one? Because it's the figures that come with it. That's the right one. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the right one. Anyway, we got like, a, like crazy things. And that's the three I remember. That's the three I remember really, really big. And then my best friend at the time was into so many other things. And he just would pull me into things too. And I'd be like, I don't really care. Not that I don't care. Look, look, not that I don't care. But I would, I would just think to myself, do I really like this? Or am I just liking this because somebody else likes it and I want to be like them, you know? Or just like, oh, he likes it. So therefore, I must like it because I'm friends with him. And if I don't like it, I'm not friends with I don't know what my logic was as a kid to, to that. But I love it. I remember it being everything from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to Batman to wolf, like, creatures and, like, scary, you know, wolfman and vampires and that kind of stuff to Wizard of Oz to uh, Ninja Turtles, Batman, with uh Creatures, for werewolf, vampires, that kind of stuff. Wizard of Oz. Oh, what else did he get into? Different things. And he also went, like, insane into things. Like, just crazy into things. Just, like, holy crap. Like, it was almost scary how much, like, uh, like, almost like an unhealthy obsession with things. Yeah. Because I remember... By the time I started getting into things with this kid, I knew I'm not going to get into things. Like, I remember going about, because he started getting into Doctor Who. Like, my brother got into Doctor Who too. But I, at that point, was like, this, like, I, like, I almost came to a realization, I can like things, or he can like things, and I don't have to like the same thing he likes. You know? Like, seriously, that was it. If he liked it, I liked it. It didn't matter what it was. If he liked it, I liked it. He could have liked death metal bands, and I would have been like, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. He could have liked, um, I don't know, just anything random, and I would have been like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right? So there was a time when I realized, it was about when he started liking Doctor Who that I was like, okay, he's about 16, and I'm about, well, cause my brother and I are like a year and a bit apart, a year and a few months apart, like, 18 months apart, is that what it is? Let me see. Where is it? Let's look it up. I wrote it down. Because I did a calculator. I went on a, found a calculator website and I calculated it. Where is it? 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 Anyway. And so I just also looked up to my older brother as a kid. I really did like it. And so, I just like... Oh, you, oh, it must be great. Like, he, it must be, like, he must know what he's doing. It's, it's a good thing. It's great. Like, you know, that kind of thing. It's answer, like, I don't know you're wrong. I liked a lot of it. It's just, where'd it go? Nope, guess not. Is that right? Is it birthday? Do see we're a year and nine months apart, so we're twenty-one months apart. Okay, because we're not exactly two years apart. No, so there's another time where we overlap in being a year apart, and then. A not a year, and then a year apart, and then being two years apart, because, yeah, so, um, yes, yeah, so I just look at things, so, like, we were, you're, what was I even going there, going with that? Sorry, I lost the train of thought, no, but, yeah, so, yeah, so he's about 16, and I was about 14? Or so, maybe he was seventeen even. When he started like started, I don't know. No, he's about he's either fifteen or sixteen, and I was about thirteen, fourteen. I think I was fourteen, and that's when I realized like, okay, I don't have to like the same things he likes. Like, I just like also I just had this like full on. I just don't care. I just don't care. And for some reason, I just that was something I was like, no, I will not get into it. And my best friend started liking Doctor Who also, 
And my best friend, when he liked something, he liked something. So he went in, all in. He, he he would get, like, make costumes about them and, like, look about the lore and watch all the whatevers about them and whatever. It was, it was very, very... I'm not going to say he went crazy, but... But... He kind of went a little overboard, in my opinion, to the kind of almost unhealthy. I'm not going to say it was that bad, but... It was, you know, on the edge, teetering. Anyway, so yeah. I probably talked about this before. <laughs> if you haven't noticed... I run around in circles with topics because I am not good at coming up with topics at all. I've asked people if they want to come on the podcast and they're just like... So... Anyway. But yeah. So that's that. Yeah. So that's what I had. So, but I was watching him play it and I was just like... Wow, someone who's... Because I've, I've only gotten so far in the Rogue Squadron. Going back to the original topic. Rogue Squadron. And so... Rogue... So I was like, oh, I've never seen past this part, or this part, whatever, so. I didn't know the little intricate things, too, as a kid. Like, you can get upgrades for certain things. Like, you can get ships, uh, ships. You can get shields and bombs and, and missiles and stuff, so. Not that it would have helped. I, I, I was just terrible as a kid. I remember that. I remember saying one day, I'm like, I will beat a video game. Because I could not beat a dang video game. And to me... Well, for, also, I didn't know, for a long time as a kid, I didn't know you could beat video games. I just thought they kind of went on forever. Because I've, I've already explained about what my whole mentality of video games was. I thought every video game existed all at the same time, as a kid. And I thought, and I guess I thought that you couldn't beat a video game. Well, not that you couldn't beat, but like, there's something called beating a video game. Like, you can beat it? Like, what? I thought it just goes on forever. I didn't get that, like... They didn't, I didn't get the concept of beating it. Like, I didn't know the concept of beating the game. I don't know why I thought that. It was just kind of like, it was never explained to me. You can beat this. It wasn't the opposite where, like, I came from arcade. Because I did not come from arcades where you just played forever. Right? I did not. I did not. So, I don't know where that mentality came from, but hey... And so I never beat video games. Well, I was so bad also that I just didn't think there, I could go further. I thought this went on forever. And that was it. Even though I did beat a couple of games. I beat like Star Wars Trilogy on Game Boy. Is that what it's called? Trilogy? I think it's up here. Let me see if it's still here. No. Floor Rings. I think I lost that game, honestly. Dang it. I think I have... Oh, well. It was like Star Wars... Tr it was like Star Wars Trilogy on Game Boy Advance. I had... I think I had five games on Game Boy Advance. And that was the first system I remember getting that was mine. That was mine. I was like, no, this is mine. This is my video game system. This is my system. Because I remember getting the N64 about... Well, because I got it for Christmas... I got the Game Boy Advance for Christmas... I got it for Christmas. Boy Advance for Christmas 2008. And so, um, but I got the N64 about summer or maybe spring of 2008. Well, I didn't get it, right? I didn't buy one. I, 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 okay, the funny story. You want to hear a story about this? I remember looking in my basement. Okay, so in my garage. You got the garage door, and then the, there's a wall this way. And at the end of the wall, at the, near the end of the garage, is a, these two fridges. But next to that, on the... If you're looking at the fridges on the right... The left side, there's like a, a shelf that was created. And then there's a hole in the shelf. And there are two baskets for um, clothes. For laundry. And so the laundry baskets are there. And behind those laundry baskets, at the time, were like buckets. Plastic buckets, right? And I went messing around behind those things one day. 
Don't ask me what I was looking for or doing in there. And I found a bucket. And I opened this bucket. This plastic, like, not Tupperware, but plastic, like, bucket. And I, with the lid, so it came off. And I look and I go, what is this? And my mom goes, oh yeah, that's, because her sister, I would be her sister, so my aunt, her sister's, kids so my cousins used to play with it didn't want it gave it to us and i guess my mom just put it in a box and put it behind the the thing behind the the laundry and to, don't even ask me how long they had it for because they're a few years older than me so they're like maybe five i guess two five and three and five years older than me maybe i don't know i don't remember i haven't talk to them in a long time but anyway because there's tension there in family stuff i don't know don't ask me what went wrong there but i don't talk to them anymore anyway not the point the point of the story is um yeah so there that's so that's how i found and then then and this is like 2000, i might have even got it a year prior i'm not 100 percent sure if i got it a year before that I could have because I remember a long period of time trying to find games for it. I didn't find a lot of games. I found like three. So maybe four in like random places. And that was the fun thing. I remember that. Just going to random shops and just being like looking through the video games that they had. And that was the thing. I didn't know any better. I didn't know anything. I know what was a good game or what was a bad game. I just pulled out games and whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah, so. So I got the Game Boy Advance in 2008. I know that for, well, I don't know for a fact. Because again, I was in Ottawa at my other cousins on my dad's side. So these are my cousins. Cousins who gave me this were on my, were gave me the Game Boy, I uh, Game Boy, gave me the N64 were on my mom's side. The cousins, I went to my cousins for Christmas on my dad's side. And... They are, so I remember getting that Game Boy. I remember picking out all the games for the Game Boy though, too. I remember picking out all the games for the Game Boy and just being like, I want this game and this game and this game. And this. I think I remember putting like five, seven games maybe, and they only couldn't give me two or something, my parents. So, but yeah, and the games I had were, um, uh, what is it? Fairly Odd Parents, Cl something Cleft. I don't know what it was called. Fairly Odd Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents GBA game. What was it called? It was called. I can't find that game. Don't ask me. I don't know where it went. Is it in that pile? No, it isn't. I looked. I think it was called. No, not Clash of That. Enter the Cliff. Enter the Cliff, which apparently is fake. Well, I think it's fake because. I've opened up, I opened up the cart and it doesn't have Nintendo written anywhere and it has a big blob, a uh, epoxy blob in the middle of the board. So I don't, I think it's a fake game. I didn't care as a kid. I hate, I remember hating that game as a kid. Just being like, what is this? Not hating it, but just being like, this is a, not a good game. I remember knowing as a kid, this is a bad game. This is not an entertaining game. Sorry. But I had that. I had, um, Spongebob Squarepants, the movie, which is also a bad game. But I liked it because it had good animation, I think, like good, nice graphics, Gra not animation, like graphics, and the gameplay was like decent, and it was also Spongebob, which I liked a little bit more than I liked Fairly Odd Parents as a kid, like at that time. I went, I went back and forth and like liking those two, and like a few years later I remember liking Fairly Odd Parents more, but, um, yeah, and then I had um, Rugrats. Is Rugrats here? Maybe Rugrats is here. Uh, 
No, damn it. Oh, he's my job one. Okay. Oh, crap. Where's the... Focus, damn it. Give me some light. Focus, dang it. There you go. Time to discover some movie. And then, this is what I got for that Christmas. It was that. It was... Okay, so those, those two, it was for uh, Rugrats... What was it called? Rug... Rats... Game Boy Advanced... Games... What were they called? Or game? It was called... Oh, what was it called? Come on, what was it called? Castle Caper! Castle Caper! And that was the thing! No! No, I was gonna say I didn't watch that show as a kid. No, I did. Because I remember watching that show, and then watching, um, oh, what's it called? All Grown Up. When did All Grown Up come out? This game, here. Castle Keeper. I mean, I, it was also a bad game. It was also not a, not a good game at all. That I remember actually not liking. Just being like, no, this is... This is really bad. With, with with the Clift one, I just remember being like, this is not a good game. But but because it was something I kind of liked, I was like, okay, I'll give it a chance. I don't I didn't I never hated it. This game I remember just like, no, this is bad. Having a way stronger disliking to this game. No, this is bad. Probably because I liked the this the, the franchise a little bit more than that, and so I like you're disgracing something I really like. Which is weird because I didn't watch a lot of that show. I just remember liking the show franchise more, if that makes any sense. Anyway, yeah, I remember liking that franchise more. But anyway, um, yeah, I had that game, and then I had that. I had two other games. That was it, right? I had those three, and then I had two other games. I had Royal Land 4, which I remember loving. I just loved that game. I remember loving that game. But just but just hating how hating, hating how frustrating it is. I remember hating how frustratingly hard it was. And it's not ex not exactly that hard. I've gotten way better at video games over the years. I remember just when I got like good. I don't know how to, how to explain it, but I got good. I mean, because you know, good. The, you know, that, the, that's very subjective. But I got good at the game and just being like, wow, I was bad at this game? How did I not beat this game as a kid? Because it was one of those things where I would sit in one particular part of the game and just get stuck the whole, every time. And I remember just being like, when, once I beat it, the rest of the game just flew by. Like, like years later, I was like, what? How? But. Uh, just so, so it's a part where, I don't know if you know the game, it's the first level of the ghost world in Mario, in, uh, in Warrior Land 4. Oh, good God. I was like, I remember never being able to beat it as a kid. And then when I beat it, okay, the rest of the game wasn't like a piece of cake, like some games, but I remember being like, really? That was the only hard part of the game? The rest of the game, not flew by, but it was much much like really simple compared to that one part of like it was dramatically different like dramatically easier not necessarily like a piece of cake but it was dramatically easier anyway um yeah so yeah that game and then and then i had star wars um trilogy i think it was called I remember that one being my favorite game. Oh, gee. I remember that being my favorite game. Like, the one that I own, of, of, all, of the game that I owned from that first Christmas. Because it took me, I think, about almost a year before I got another game which was uh, Mario Land 2. 
Up until that point, I remember Star Wars being my favorite. Just my favorite. And I beat that game. I remember beating that game. That game I remember beating. For some reason. Like, that was the game I remember beating. Everything else I never really beat. Nothing. Nothing else I never really beat. If I get stuck... Because I was also that kid who would just get frustrated and just give up. But then, like... A month later, I just... Or, like, a few weeks later, I just pick it up again and start the game over. Get to the same point. Get stuck at and and be frustrated, be like, Ugh! hate this, and just put it down. And then a month later, start over, you know. It was this weird cycle I had as a kid with games that I couldn't eat. Really? Oh, I did not know that. I had this game on, okay, I'm trying to say something. I had this game on DS. I did not know I had it on Game Boy Advance, too. Anyway, but it was this one. I had this one. Star Wars Trilogy. This one right here. I remember loving it. Because it was so... Faithful to the... The trilogy. Also. But also tried to make it a game. Because that was the problem with a lot of video games based on something else. This is my philosophy on, on why... I think people hate... Whoopsie. Things based on, on like books or on movies but movies like video games based on movies or movies based on books or stuff like that because it's never faithful it's either never faithful to the original source material or or it it's not what you thought of, of it so you just, you just hate it you're like well, it's not what I thought it was going to be right which I was always like well, what did you expect? They don't know what you think. But as a kid, I was also like that, though. For certain things. Now, because that's the thing. Unless... Say, like, a book. Unless... I'm trying to get this mirror back on. Here, I'll just do this back. Whatever, I'll just do this. I don't care. Unless, in something like the book, they specifically say he has black hair with blue eyes and whatever... How were they supposed to know what you thought it was going to be? Don't don't get mad at them, the people making that movie, just because you had an idea of what a character looked like and they didn't live up to that, right? Like, oh, this is what I think he looked like, and it should look like this. And then you go to the theater and see it, and you're like, it doesn't look like what I thought it was. Like, well, of course it didn't look like what you thought it was. You don't know what you thought it was going to look like. Anyway. But this was very faithful to the source material, and that's the thing. It made it, because I, I was, okay, that's where I was going to go. I was like, where did my thought process go? Or where did my train of thought... Ah, I lost my face. Where's my train of thought? But it was that. Okay. The reason people don't like things like that is because... Well, at least in video games, right? It's because they didn't find a way. It's it's a lot of it's reasons why a lot of, like, uh, licensed video games, or video games based on, like, movies, or based on comic books, or based on whatever, don't work very well, or just are not good, is because... At least in my opinion, it's because they don't figure out good ways to keep it connected to the source material, keep it faithful to the source material, but also make a good game. Cause there's two. Cause that's the thing. I knew somebody worked on. I knew somebody worked at THX. Is that what it was? THQ, I think it was. THQ, the game developer. Is that what it is? THQ. Video game. Not the video game. THQ. Damn it. Stop moving. There you go. TH. 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 Not the video game. THQ. Let me see. Is it THQ? Over there. Come on. Yeah, THQ. Yeah, yeah, THQ. And they did a lot of the, like, licensed stuff. All, like, the Disney movies, the Pixar movies, the, the DreamWorks. A lot of the kids, like, animated movies. And, yeah, because the thing is, at least this is my opinion, they don't... Yeah, there's, there's two things you can do with a video game that's based on something else. You either make it really based on that thing, and it either becomes a movie or, like, text-based whatever, and very text-heavy and, like, no game. 
or you make a game that is that's very 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 little to do with the source material, but it's a good game. And there's sometimes when the game just both suck. It has nothing to do with the source material, and it has a terrible and it's a terrible game, just gameplay wise. But anyway, right? I've said this before. Shovelware. So like on the DS and the Wii. Have so many. From 2006. Or 4 or 5. Whatever. When the game. The DS came out. To about the end of the, the Wii. And even a little bit into the Wii U. But not nearly as bad. There. Pick some franchise that kids were into. At the time. Even some that weren't necessarily super relevant. But. Right. And there was a Shovelware game. And it was pr probably made by THX. Uh, THQ. Probably. Because I knew somebody who worked on THQ, and he remember. I remember him saying, um, because he talked about that once, and, and he was just like, yeah, I remember going to the, th like, they would work on a game, because they get the stuff beforehand, right, obviously, they want this game out, either before, or just about the right, arrest of yeah, just about around the time when the movie would come out. There would be a lot of Pixar movies on Wii, or, 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 uh, PS2, or stuff like that, and he would make the game, right? You've given all these like criteria. Make it look like this. Give it some good gameplay. Give it this, whatever, and then go to the movie theater and be like, "Oh, wait, this, this is not like the game at all. We added a whole bunch of things in this game. Wait, what? And that kind of thing. Yeah. He works for Ubisoft now. That's that's cool. That guy's cool. Guy. Well, I don't know. Depends if you like Ubisoft. Anyway, I never. I don't think I played very many Ubisoft games. Ubisoft, yeah, I'm not sure, so, but yeah, <laughs> so, that's I think why games suck, because they have nothing to, to do with the source material, or they have to do with the source material, but not, oh, but not have a good game, it, so, see, it's usually either, sometimes it's both, but usually it's either, it has, it's very close to source material, source material, but it's too close source source material in 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 that like it becomes either a movie or or a text heavy thing where you're like I would have just why well, I, I could have just done the original thing the source material whether that was a book or a movie or a TV show or a video game turns into a movie or a well that could actually work better than this than video games but anyway but yeah so. Movies, like, you're like, oh, I gotta watch, read the book, or watch the movie, or whatever. Or, I didn't, like... So it's like... Well, I'm just saying an example of something that's very heavy movie, like... Cutscene-based, something like Nathan Drake's Uncharted. Uncharted is very text-heavy. And it's, it, I'm not saying it's, a, like, it's not based on anything prior. But I'm saying, it, that would be an example of, like, if that was, like, a, a movie or a... Right? You could just be like, well, I gotta watch the movie! What's the point of buying the game? You know, that kind of thing, you know? Right, a good example of having nothing to do with source material and being bad or just being very, like, loose with it. Like, what? Huh? Um, Back to the Future on NES. Back to the Future on NES is horrible f for just being nothing. Time travel. Okay. It's a movie about time travel. It really has not much to do with time travel, to be honest. And so you're collecting clocks. It's just like time, clocks. That's your connection? That's your connection to time? Really? I don't know. You're collecting clocks in that game. You're Marty McFly, on a at least the first level is Marty McFly on a skateboard collecting clocks. Which I was just like, what? Huh? Whatever. So that, that game was just bad. <laughs> Because I feel like it had nothing to do with source material, or very little to do with source material, and with a bad game. I think uh, an example of a good. I don't know. I can't figure examples. Anyway, but yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah, that was just a little story about I had. I was originally coming here just to talk a little bit about Rogue Squadron, but I ended up talking about a lot of stuff. Over the games. Yeah. So. 
I think that's pretty much it, though. I don't have much to talk, else to talk about. Um, yeah. I think that'll be it for now, guys. So, adios, mi amigos.